one of my here. Kind of special. I was just running around collecting cooking recipes, and if you finish this, you can buy another one. So I'm doing that really quick. And I want to record it because I want to show everything that I'm doing on this jar. I got 1392 quests done so far, and this is one of them. So I wanted to record it really quick. Bodyguard for hire. At the end you can you get this and some silver. I just need that um, cooking, cooking recipe because I'm trying to collect them all. Currently at 62%, 62.8% of all recipes. There are 86 in the game. I got 54. <laughs> and uh, I'm just running around. Going from vendor to vendor, and this vendor only gets spawned once the this quest is done or he's resting, right? So that's why I'm doing this. And let's get some music in here, some sleepy music. Six a.m. <laughs> Someone online? Nope. Still looking for people to join my raid group. Switch this real quick. I still have the heal uh, layout because I was healing in the Karazhan raid last time. Don't really need to do that. Don't really intend to do that. Okay, he's he's not that important. Let me stay close to my dude that I need to protect. Otherwise, I don't want to get a failed quest here. Uh, can I collect those real quick? I should be able to ride. Yes, okay. That that the giant would be the toughest one on the path, but yeah. I still I'm still heal specced, so kind of annoying. I should have changed that maybe, but whatever. Wrong button. Okay. Oh yeah, that's arena reputation down there. Okay. Shouldn't I get reputation changes by killing those? Okay, I thought he, they were going for the other dudes. So those are Kolka. No, they, they, those are the generals, the, the normal dudes, they are not, they're either, they're neither Mangram nor Gilkis, so I can get them, kill them without reputation changes. But yeah, they also are pretty squishy for me. And yeah, one more reason why I just went for this quest, because you have to wait for him to be in the certain spot point to be able to start this quest so as I got uh, he was screaming somewhere and uh, yelling right so do I see this somewhere still no he was yelling that he's over here waiting for help and yeah why not Getting this quest done is one, one of the annoying ones because you have to wait for him to wait for uh, someone to help, basically. And either he is getting either over here or over here once the patrolling is done. Um, I think you you, you can he sometimes he starts here and you have to go back this direction. Um, he's going to put this. Um, Robot, uh, see his, his vendor bot out. He's going to put down his vendor bot and then he can buy those recipes that I'm looking for. There are also some hot uh, recipes on my list for f 
for cooking, yeah, and some quest recipes and stuff that are that. Oh my god, that's kind that's kind of interesting. works those dudes are so weird yeah here's a nice spot by the way to farm iron but nowadays at level 60 there are better spots if i just need some iron i used to grind here a lot at around 30 or something 35 okay there's a group of soups coming they're going to swoop my um yeah Yeah, I have some cheap um, battleground potions still. Combat mana potions, they are 11 silver. So extremely cheap. Okay. So I got a finish now. Is this really just segments of pet escorting? Now the next segment is down there. Oh yeah, right. Oh shit. I just got to wait now. Well, quest is done. They'll reach that hut down there. Somehow. So I just got to wait down there, right? Weird. Yeah, let me check real quick. Uh, Super Seller 680 is what I'm looking for. Database 680. This one 36, and it's supposed to be st down there. Yeah, so are they just walking past that now? And then I got to wait until he's there, probably. Yeah, well. Are they despawning now? No, not yet. So maybe he's walking up to there. And then I'll get the pet, uh, mount, uh, the, the buff food recipe. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's buff food, but it's just food. It's just a cooking recipe and I'm collecting all. From the lowest of lowest stuff. To the highest, okay, I don't have any high ones. I mean, th this is actually useful for shamans, for example, heal. Warlock, maybe. No, Warlock uses spam power. Heal is the only one that's to paladin. And shaman, heal, can use that. There's no, no heal, heal power, spell power yet. So this is probably best for those. That's agility. But you can also get this from something else. Winter squid, squid, by the way. You can only fish this during winter. This one is 10 int, which is not that useful then. Because, yeah, I feel like re regeneration is better. The... Int doesn't work for... I mean, it works for Paladin and Shaman, obviously, yeah, but you, you don't scale your regeneration through int. Because you only regenerate through mana per 5 on Shaman and Paladin, so... Mainly, there might be a Druid buff or an item with reg with meditation, so the regeneration will casting, but yeah. Very, very light results of that.
co ja. Tender Wolf Steak, 12 Stamina Spirit, is, sounds nice for a Druid heal, but there's 15 Stamina Spirit in the game. As event buff food and as normal buff food you get from gardening. Extremely cheap. You only need, need the planter, which is this. Copper bolt, simple wood, just buying it off the vendor. Then the seeds you get just in Elwyn or in Thiris Fall Grates. And then you can just plant those pumpkins and then you get two to 10 to uh, 25 of those per food in one in like 50 minutes or something until this is planted. You need some Ongoru soil, some fresh spring water, that's it. Okay, this will take a while to get there, but whatever, I'm not cutting here and I'll, I'm just uploading this more or less special video because I'm doing this quest now and I want to back, um, document everything that I'm doing on this show. Just probably Wednesdays it's going on to go come online. 4 p.m. No, 7 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Like the old times. I'm doing 6 p.m. Uh, for my rope and now it did 5 p.m. on my paladin. Normal videos. Yeah, it's taking quite some time to get there, but I think he's really just walking through until this spot where this, yeah, he's going to put down Super Sutter. I finally get that. Yeah. Check out those cooking stinks. I mean, there's 1% dodge and 4 defense. It's just pure mitigation for defense is not 0.16% of dodge, parry and block chance. So you get... Well, not 0.48%, so basically 1.5% of mitigation with this. No spell mitigation, but melee. Then there's this, which is currently 10 stamina and 1% reduced chance to be critically hit. In next patch it will be 10 stamina and 3% less less damage from crits and damage over time effects. This one is 22 spell damage, that's the one you go for as a caster. Uh, 2% haste, that's the one you sh can go for as a melee, but it's tr pretty pricey with a sense of air, obviously. But this is the best one for melee, probably. I mean, it's pretty sure about that. Then 45 ranged attack power for Hunter, obviously. Heart of the Wild. Oh! Wait, what? Didn't I just sell tons of Heart of the Wild on my rogue? I did. Okay, so I'm buying them back. Holy shit, I'm buying them back. I'm buying them all back. I do sell like 60, 70 of, of them. I mean, for real, it's just hard of the white spices and ba banana. No, I sell, sold a few on the, on this chart too. Because they were cheaper in the auction house than, than vendor price. Yeah, there, here we go. That's it. I sold hundreds of those. So, since... Art of the Wild. Same. Uh, below vendor price. Below vendor price. Okay, there's no need to worry about that. So... This is unexpectedly extremely cheap. The address... Kicking Chimerax chops. Those were the was the best food for tanks in this classic. 25 stamina. Over here you have the mitigation and the 1% the less crit chance option. But you also have the, from gardening the option to get the mushroom food with 25 stamina, which is very cheap in this one. 
the chimeric chops requires you to get chimeric tenderloin and you need to have a, like a group of like 10 people for that because the mobs you need to kill are over here on this island and they are raid level mobs and you need to before you get to get this recipe you need you need to get kill a raid level boss which are elite on like a level 63 elite that's that's even stronger on, on that island and then then you need to kill the 60 162 I think Camerox on the, over there which are still pretty strong and yeah you can do them with 10 or something or maybe 5 later on but yeah you need to be well geared and it's like a tough fight each, each one of them then the smoked desert dumplings 20 strength same with that sand raw meat and spices seems fine but you just plant down the same things like that's giving you the 25 stamina buff food and you get 20 strength too, the mushrooms. Then the 10 end, yeah I got that, might fish, 10 stamina is useless, 14 stamina spirit, nice, there's 15 stamina spirit on from gardening again. Same on this, 14 stamina spirit, 6 health every 5 seconds. I don't know, this is kind of weird. For real, it's, it's weird. It's too, too weak. If it's like 20, you, I'd, I'd say, okay, you can probably use it for farming stuff and it's, yeah, it's just weird. Nightfin soup, like I said, this is the best one probably for heal paladin, heal shamis. Raw nightfins, snapper, you can fish that. I think I remember fishing that uh, in front of Karazhan here. I think this one was only fishable at night. That was one thing, yeah. Yeah, this one was like... Um, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. with a peak fish rate at 12. Right, so you, you, could, you could not fish it at all during... between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. but you, it started being able you, you there was a chance to fish it starting 6 p.m and it, it, this chance grew over time i think this was the one where i was fishing at night sometimes 10 spirit is useless and the 10 egg agility that's okay but there's again from gardening an alternative and you don't need to fish it in the winter only then in Blitz Classic this was really interesting because in winter uh, everyone was going for this fishing dead and during the summer it's not as... Uh, it was interesting. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Scrolls and there's stuff. Dragon Blood Thrilly. Buzzard Wing. Lean Wolf Steak. Okay, three more. Ah, <sighs> three less to collect. So Dragon Breath Chili is done, Buzzard is done, and Lean Wolf. Okay. Normal at 66.28%, 75 out of 68 recipes collected. And uh, that's it for this special episode basically, and I'll maybe see you to today uh, in the stream. During Wednesdays. Fridays and Sundays where where we do the raid Sundays so thanks for watching see you next time no not the next time see you in the stream bye